Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again. It's been a while since I did my last video because I've been sick and, and I've also been busy for my work. So um, thank you for watching again. Um, so today what I'm going through is to how you get the SS project from the Unity um, organization that you're in. Now be careful with Unity project and Unity assets project. There are two different things. Unity project is where you do all your coding and all that, um, you know, your, your source code with. Assets project is the where you store your assets in the project. Now, <clears throat> it's slightly different and I want you to, you know, to understand the concept. Unity project is not assets project. And today we are going to list out all the assets project that in within the organization that you are currently at. So um, if you watch my last video, um, we also made, um, made it far, as far as, you know, logging in uh, to your Unity account and you'll be showing a list of like organization you belong to. And then that's a drop down menu where you can select your organization. And this today, we're going to list out all the access project once you finish picking your organization you want to see. So let's get cracking. So this is the Unity project that we've been working on. Um, let's start with, um, you know, installing the access package. So we go down into window, uh, package manager, and go to the plus side in the top go into add package by name, type in the name com.unity.cloud.assets, press add. It will install the new package for us. Okay, now it's been installed, close up window, and um, we need to go into the uh, scripting part of it. So this is the platform services script. First thing you need to do is to add a uh, two name new space. Uh, sorry, namespace. Uh, so we need to do unity cloud, um, unity dot cloud dot common, and the other one is using unity dot cloud dot assets. Okay, and then um, up here in the um, before you go and create, we need to create a public variable, a public static variable. Um, I service XTB client and say service XTB client that's good and also create another call asset repository so it's the I asset repository so just stick with the name um, assets repository and then in the create function we go service XTB client new service uh, not exactly that, but I'm going to modify that. So we go compose authenticator and we pass in the player settings here. And the repository and then I'll go access repository equals access repository factory. Yeah, that's what we need and create it using the uh, surface client and the surface host resolver like here so that's what we need for uh, the um, <clears throat> platform surface part and then next thing we need to go is to the login controller so remember where we um, add a listener to when the drop down has a value has changed so this it is is at the we call it on organization selected and we uh, print in the name and then now what we need is to say we want to list out all the access projects within that organization so let's say um, things that we use is going to be a like a sync function so uh, what we need is to say put an underscore there and equals get all assets projects in here and then we're going to pass in the uh, organization id so we select that one 
um, we select the this part, copy it, paste it, and then you say pass in the organization ID. Now, <coughs> uh, you can do a internal function within a function in C sharp. Um, so this is what I'm gonna do. Um, so say um, we go um, async task and then we go <coughs> into um, get we copy that and paste it and we go we say I organ uh, organ organization ID yeah organization ID which also need to add the unity.com um sorry unity common namespace so we say ID in here so um now what we need is to say put in the access projects here and we goes oh something that I forgot to put on the top is that I need to reference the um, repository um, asset repository so we go I asset repository repository yeah and also under the unity cloud dot, um, dot asset namespace so we go M underscore I repository and which is directly pointing the platform surface asset repository. So in here, we go into M underscore assets um, assets repository, and then we goes into say uh, list assets project async, and then we pass in the um, organization ID. Um, and then we do range we want all of them and then uh, let's give it a default token for now so you're not going to cancel it um, <coughs> so right and then we do a wake so not a wait a wait uh, for each access project in the access projects and then we go debug dot log asset project dot name so what we do is that right after you select the organization you will try to get the um, access project um, of that within that organization so and then in here we can just gonna let out and print out into the uh, console here. So if we just go back into the Unity and let and compile, and I don't think that's anything we need to do in this point. Um, so we're just gonna hit play, and now it's been logged in. It's my name, and uh, because we haven't handled anything uh, when you first list list out all the um the def uh, list out all the organization here so it won't print out any um, access project but let's say if i go into pick into any of this for example i go into this one now this is all the access project that within so i got like an access project access project called feedy collaborative viewer we got an access project called at uh, asset i got like an access project called access store content demo only so these are all the access projects that within or that organization. Let's go and pick another one. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go to the Unity Cloud Reference project. Now you can see I have so many different access projects within the organizations. So this is how you um, list out all the access projects within your organization. In the next video, we're gonna put that into maybe a, another drop down so you can get to pick a another access project. Um, so um, and then we will list out the all the assets within that access project. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.